Take a look at this. A blade of mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. I thought it might be worth something. It is. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fondly. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man and not rule over him. In the Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chantry as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. They do as they please, all of them. So they all use forbidden magic? The more powerful the mage, the higher he rises in the Senate. He makes the laws, he determines what is acceptable. Everyone who wishes to compete must do the same, or be crushed. Perhaps it wasn't always this way, but it is now. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinter would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Sahara, which they have. The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island, without real success. I believe the Kunari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Kunari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Sir Heron, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. I'd like you to have it. For me? Yes. I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk.
you are. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. Who are you again? Samson. I'm the one who fouled up your lad Fainriel's escape some years ago. Further back, I was a Templar, but that was before your time. Are the mages here using blood magic? It always comes down to that, don't it? They claim innocence, demand equality, but back them into a corner, and they got options we don't. Haven't found a mage yet who won't take it. Are you part of this plot against Meredith? You could say so. That bitch threw me out of the Templars for carrying letters from a mageling to his sweetheart. She's got her sword so far up her ass, she can cut you with her tongue. Shouldn't you be in with the rest of them? I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give them a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. Mages and Templars. Working together. I must be dreaming. Is it that simple? I'd cheer to see her ship to Val Royo. But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. I suppose it was too much to hope that you wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When I realized you had risked your life lying to protect those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. Your cause is just, but I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No. The girl dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace? We saved you. What are you doing? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith. What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. Whatever you want, just tell me. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. 
Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. I thought you turned your back on blood magic when you saw what happened to Decimus. This isn't right, Grace. The champion tried to help us. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion! Let's not do that again. I knew she was still alive, but I didn't know Thrask was working with her. When I saw her today, it brought everything back. Everything I saw Decimus do. I... 
I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold her. That's the only way I can bring her out. What happened? The last thing I remember is these Templars coming into my quarters. I promise. I'll never let anything like this happen again. Thank you. It's good to know you're still looking out for me. They're meeting in here, Sir Cullen. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a fine lady, sir. She wanted to solve this peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders, when they would have killed an innocent hostage. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, Champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, Champion? She should consider reinstating Samson. When it came down to it, he showed where his heart is. True. Samson, you have done us a great service. Do you wish to take up the shield once more? M more than anything, Knight Captain, sir. Then I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
look at this. My own sunshield and all the lyrium I can quaff. You've done me a good one. Thrask's dead. Grace is dead. And nothing's changed. They're not going to be the last ones who rebel. All mages are confined to their quarters. The Knight Commander has dealt with the members of the plot you uncovered. But surely you can see the Knight Commander directly now, should you wish. What would you have of me? Everyone says the Knight Commander's gone crazy. Are you still behind her? The people ask too much of her. She needs a spine of iron to survive her position. I have seen madness before. I saw Aldred's eyes when there was nothing human left in them. The Knight Commander. She is not there yet. But I do not have to ask where the rumors come from. What is the Knight Commander doing about the conspirators? Did you not see them as you came in? The Knight Commander will ensure no one follows their example. If it comes to war with the mages, whose side do you think the Grand Cleric will take? She is bound by faith and duty to support the Templars. We have dominance over mages by divine right. But it is cruel how she leads them on, letting them think they might have a chance at rebellion. I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. The mages have spies in our Order, I tell you. You can't trust anyone. I wouldn't advise talking with me, Sarah. The Knight Commander needs vigilance and obedience in these troubled times. The Knight Commander is grateful for your support, Champion. 